Hello everyone, Darkseid here with another game. Uh, today, I, I'm not, I'm not normally going to be uploading on Fridays. I'm just going to say that straight up. But uh, because I'm getting back into it, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to get to get to get back into it. So, um, I, I set up a little schedule of games that I or types of games that I want to play. And uh, what is it? Well, let me get it. <clears throat> Mobile Monday. Uh. Tuesday, Tuesday. Uh, I can thank thank Matt for that one. Shooter Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, and Indie Friday. I know I got kind of annoyed with the rhyming at the end of it, but you know whatever. But today is uh, space. Uh, oh, uh, it's uh, space pirates and zombies. That's it. Um, it looked like a fun, interesting game, so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, it's saying create your galaxy. But, um, <laughs> oh gosh, insane. Um, let's just do normal, I guess. I'm going to die anyway. Um, default, bounty hunter population, total stars. You got tons of stars. I don't know. Um, no, I'm definitely not going to skip chapter one. Uh, let's just start the game. Let's start the game and, you know, see see what happens. See what happens, rather. I can't really talk today, but, you know, I I don't know how this is going to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I have never played this game before, um, hence the tutorial. So you guys get to see me for wh where I get to start. Where I get to start with all this jazz, and I might move my camera around. Uh, it really depends on if it's in the way. Space is a vast and desolate frontier, covering a seemingly infinite distance. Even the speed of light is dwarfed by the unimaginable scale of our is galaxy. That? It took nearly 250 years to bridge the void between Earth and its closest brick? neighboring star. That totally. That totally sounds like him. Mankind had mastered the folding of space-time, but relied on the use of warp gates. Massive drone ships journeyed through deep space for centuries. That's totally, that's so, totally cynical Brit. That's cool. Instantaneous travel between connections. Warp gate travel had not become commonplace until the discovery of a stable element, number 126. This element contained bizarre transmutable properties, allowing it to be reconfigured into different forms of matter. This made it the most valuable and sought-after commodity blah, 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 in the blah, universe. Blah, first miners and res. Due to the increasing demand for res, the Warpgate network became privatized. Anyone with ample funding was able to deploy new and unregistered warp gates. Like a new gold rush, convoys of miners traversed the expanding warp network looking for res deposits. This drove them closer and closer to the galactic core, where the res, res deposits, deposits became be rich. Rich. A growing number of isolated colonies became unmanageable. As the unique ecologies I just, I can't of each discovered over that. planet That's intermixed cool. through trade, potential pandemics became a concern. Voices. The United Terran Alliance was formed to control interplanetary contamination. They moved to heavily restrict gate there access. There we are. Military blockades began to screen all trade ships traveling between gates, attacking any unregistered ships. Cool. For a time, the oh, UTA gosh, was able so to many. maintain control, but they soon crumbled under the weight of rapid expansionism and bureaucracy. Unable to manage their fleets and borders, the military like hierarchy a fire collapsed. Fly. Without kind of central deal. leadership, I don't know the if UTA anybody else is getting that. into a series of isolated subcells that idea, rarely know, communicated or like traveled beyond local space. Fly. Each military subcell now struggles to control their systems by whatever laws they see. Despite the enforced isolation, rogues continue the gold rush while refugees amass hidden away from the UTA's eye. They survive within the hmm. vast junk fields of an abandoned Earth. There they build a massive flagship named the Clockwork. Cool. With it, they intend to travel to the galactic core D in search of a mine? legendary mother load thing? of rares. Okay, folks, it's the time again. This will be our seventh and seventh thing engine test this week. I don't want to go to bed with radiation burns again tonight. All right, let's get these puppies fired up and good, pr good and proper this time. Wow, I'm not a good reader out loud. Yes, well, you see, we're lucky the toilet's even flush on this brick. I've managed to bootstrap the induction coil to the main core to boost output. 
but I don't expect it to maintain a viable reaction. Nuclear particles, nu nuclear particles, particle physics and duct tape do not mingle well. Yes? Carl, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Just turn the bloody thing on. Boom. I have a feeling that's... That might be my ideal. I don't know. We'll find out. And now it's frozen. And now. Oh, I didn't even move that. Okay. Did that just freeze my game? <laughs> Did it really just freeze my game? <laughs> I can't. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell, like. Well, uh. I, I guess I'll be back. Okay, we're back. We're back. And it looks better. Like, the, the textures actually look, look a lot better this time, so. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me again. That would be bad. <laughs> Damn! The magnetic stabilizer is blue. We have major breaches on deck 6 through 10. Our escort ships are gone, and we're venting atmosphere. We're... we are... we have crew casualties. Oh, crewmen can always be replaced. The ship damage, on the other hand, well, I told you that piece of junk wouldn't hold back an overload. Did you honestly expect anything different? Any different? Look at what I have to work with here. The blown stabilizer systems will have to be replaced before we can even think of trying this again. It's our it's a common part. I'm sure this is another I'm sure there is another one in the junk field somewhere. We still have a working hangar. So let's fire up the fabricator systems and build a ship to retrieve it. Space to build a ship. Okay. I built a ship. My operating system has encountered an unexpected error and must be shut down. If you see this error again in the future, please contact player underscore. Oh hey! <laughs> it says click here. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh select le left click and empty hanger. Oh, and I'm assuming it w I wanna build this because there's no I can't build any of these ships. So I'm gonna click this. Okay. Um, small tractor beam. Small s surplus scanner. I, I, hmm. Doesn't really tell me what to do. I'm so confused. <laughs>